about three or four weeks ago, I was playing the piano and I noticed one of the keys was broken. And you can tell when they're broken because they'll tend to shift a little to the left and right. Um, anyhow, it's not the first time that's happened. Um, I have opened it up before to fix it. This most recent time that it happened, I decided to film the process. So in a moment, we'll take a look at that video. And I've done a voiceover just to give you an idea of, of what I'm doing. Before we look at that video, there are two disclaimers. There's my cat. The first is that if your keyboard is still under warranty with either the store that you purchased it from or from Yamaha, then please don't open the keyboard. Contact either Yamaha or the store and see if you can deal with the problem that way. Uh, the second, and this is very important, is that this is an electric device. So never open up an electric device while it's plugged in. And never open up an electric device unless you're confident that you know what you're doing. Meow. What kind of keyboard is this? This is the Yamaha P45. This is one of Yamaha's entry-level digital pianos. It's very straightforward. 88 weighted keys, uh, 10 basic settings, and USB MIDI out. So you can use this as a MIDI controller, which is really fantastic. So let's go ahead and pop this open and look at one of the ways that you can fix the keyboard. Okay, and to open the piano, all we need to do is unfasten all of the screws located on the bottom of the piano. I think there's around 47 screws, so you just need to take the time to, to uh, unscrew them all. Once you have all of the screws taken out, if you just gently lift the bottom, don't pull it all the way off, look at the back and you'll see these two ribbons, these two ribbon cables. They will prevent you from taking the bottom off. And if you attempt to, you'll break them, so don't. Instead, you just want to open it up like a hinge, like this. And then once you're inside, you can get a clearer view of where the connectors are. And there's only the two. Okay, and they both pull directly out, like that. There you go, and once they're released, you can remove the bottom. Now, where I'm unscrewing here is, uh, it's actually just a piece of plastic that's used as a guide for those two ribbon cables, but it needs to be removed. I think there's three screws in total. And again, I need to apologize for the focus in this video. I didn't, uh, I had it, uh, I had the camera left on focus lock. So it gets blurry until I take a look at the, uh, the hinge mechanism for the keys. Okay, and so here you can see the piece of plastic and it just simply pulls away. Again, it's just a guide that leads those ribbon cables up from the uh, from the key bed over to the uh, to, to the two little circuit boards. Okay, and then we have another series of screws we need to unfasten. Okay, and what I would recommend is before you remove those screws, to mark the holes where the screws are. Okay, with those screws unfastened, you can simply pull the key bed right out, and here it is. You can go online and reorder an entire uh, octave unit of white keys, and likewise with the black keys. 
So you can put in a whole new set of keys for any of the octaves. I think it's divided by um, units for each of the octaves and then a separate key for the uh, for the high C key and then as well for the low A key. But of course we're not doing it that way. We're going to uh, we're going to do a bit of a ghetto fix and use a bread tie to just to strengthen the hinge. Now you gotta get down, Mike. And there you can see that's uh, one of the previous fixes. And in just a couple seconds, we're going to get this back in focus, which will be nice. But let's have a look at the hinge here. So it's just a soft hinge. It's just an entire plastic unit. The plastic is a little bit thinner there, and that's why the key bends, or that's how the key bends, okay? So the very nature of the hinge is that it will fail because you're constantly bending the plastic. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna come back to that fix because I actually made a mistake on it. But we'll look at that in a second. Okay, so here's the here's the main fix I'm looking at here. And you can see where it cracks. And this will happen to any to any of the keys. So of course we pull out the crazy glue. And this is just half of a bread clip or a bread tie. Now I'm sure there are, there is a thinner plastic you could use, um, but this seems to work. Uh, it does make the key a little bit stiffer than what it's like brand new. So we're just putting plastic over that crack to bridge the uh, the opening. And I'll just cut it down to size so that it fits in there properly. And this is a mistake I made on the, the previous fix here on the yellow one. There's a new break that happened because I didn't trim that yellow piece enough and the glue spilled over to that other black key, which created a... I ended up causing another stress point that ended up cracking. My mistake. So we'll simply trim that down. Here's a clearer view. Those, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see those what appear to be metal hooks. Uh, each of those hooks is fastened to a key, and that's what provides the weight. And of course, with crazy glue, really, you just want to use one drop. An eraser is a uh, simple way to hold it in place so that you don't get crazy glue on your fingers. And if you don't use an excessive amount of glue, it should dry fairly quickly. It's 
So that's my new fix. And as I said, if you prefer a less ghetto fix for your piano, you can purchase replacement keys online. Um, however, I've only found them uh, available to be ordered from the United Kingdom. So they're actually quite expensive to order them and have them shipped to Canada. Okay, and then this is the area I mentioned previously where the, the little yellow piece of plastic that I put in as a previous fix ended up getting stuck to the key beside it which then didn't allow the fixed key to move freely and instead created an extra point of tension. And of course it cracked. You can see there how the keys move together. So once I have my new fix in place, what I'll do is just go through and reopen that original separation between the two keys. So again, the quality of your fix will depend on your, your patience and in, in how, you, uh, how you apply the plastic and the glue. Whereas you can see, I probably should have been just a little bit more patient. And there's a closer look at the, the weighted keys there, or the weighting mechanism. There's the felt across the top. So when you push the key down, that middle metal hits the felt across the top. Okay, now these are the screws that hold each of those key segments in place. Um, and if you find that your keys while you're playing are j jiggling around a little bit, it's probably just because one of those screws is loose. So you can go through and tighten all those screws. Yeah, and of course you can also clean out any junk and debris that lands in there. I've had a couple guitar picks fall between my keys. So of course I have to pop the piano open, clean them out. Okay, and I'm just double checking to make sure these all work properly. And again, this is just a piece of plastic that holds those ribbon cables in place. Uh, something else you might want to do is if you're taking it apart, take some pictures at each stage so you can see how it goes back together. But again, it's not complicated. If I haven't said it already, I'll say it now. If your piano is under warranty, don't do this. Yeah, so then we can just finish up by getting these ribbon cables plugged back in. Now, what I've actually done here is I, um, I've only used maybe half the screws to put the piano back together. Now that I know that, you know, every couple of months, the chances are I'll need to pop it open again. 
If I'm not taking it anywhere, there's no reason to put all the screws back in. Okay, and here you, you get a quick look at my uh, my uh, jury rig setup here, which is just an IKEA desk that I've incorporated into uh, a, a quick wooden frame I put together to hold the piano, so that I can have a proper work area. And it is as easy as that. <laughs> 